we are now going to see the max pooling operation in a convolutional neural network. We will see what it does, how it works, what parameters we can insert, and how to display them, everything right now. Hi, uh, welcome to this new video. I'm Sergio, I'm a competitive consultant, developer in course instructor, and I help companies, freelancers, and students to easy and efficiently build competitive vision projects. I want to let you know that I also have a crash course. It's called Computer Vision Blueprint, link down below in the description, pysource.com slash blueprint, where I'm going to teach you in one hour, it's one hour workshop, how to build computer vision projects to detect and track any object in the fastest and most efficient way. In one hour, you're going to get a very wide view and perspective about computer vision in general and how to build projects in real life pystars.com slash blueprint. Now back to the pooling operation, I want to go straight to the point into this operation, which is very simple. It's a very simple operation, the max pooling, because it's mostly about taking a square of pixels and taking like the highest value. So that's the only thing that max pooling does. And we will also understand why we need this operation while we are doing that. So, as always, the talking can give you an idea, but when you will see practical, it's, it will make another sense to you. So let's go straight to the point. Let's load an image, create the model, and apply the max pooling operation. Uh, as usual, I'm going to load an image. So let's import CV2. And the image is dog.jpg. It's this one. If you want all the code and the images, everything that I'm using right now, there will be a link in the description where you can download everything. Just there is the blog section. You can access and download everything. EMG equals cv2.imread dog.jpg. As usual, I'm going very fast now with this because I explained this already in the previous videos. cv2.im show. So let's show the image EMG. Let's show EMG, cv2.wait key, zero to keep the image on hold. Let's now run this one to make sure that we have the dog and we have the dog, so it's good to have this. Also, I want to emphasize if you have been following the video series, because uh, you can uh, copy the code from the previous lesson, but I always recommend to start from scratch because the repetition is the, the key to master everything. So just keep repeating, just re uh, write the models from scratch on each video as I'm doing, because it, it will be better for your understanding. So we have the image. So load the e image. Now we want to create a model. So we create the model with Keras. So CNN model, convolutional neural network model. Uh, Let's import Keras. So Keras is the library that we use to build the model. Now let's define the model. Model equals Keras dot sequential. Now on the model, we want to add the first layer, which is the convolutional layer. You should already know that because I explained that on the previous videos. Model dot add. We need to add layers. So we need first to import the layers. Import layers from from Keras import layers. And we're going to add layers.conf2d. We need to define a few parameters, input shape. So the size of our image, let's use a standard size of 2024, 20, 2024 20, and three channels. So this is the standard size, I mean, not standard, like let's, we choose this size. 2024, you can use different sizes, doesn't matter right now, at least. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we need the kernel size. Uh, where do we have kernel size? Okay, kernel size, let's say three by three. And then filters, filters. So the number of the features that we want to extract from the image, let's say 64. This is pretty much just to get the convolution the convolutional layer. Now we are going to uh, pass the image to this model to get some result. 
so that later we can also apply the max pooling and we can see the difference. Uh, right now we're going to predict the result from the image. So we're going to get the feature map. So feature map equals, and then model dot predict np dot array. So we convert the image into array np dot array and we put emg. We do this because normally we can load the image in batch sizes. So it means put multiple images together, especially for the training, but we have only one image. So that's why we do this. So we put the image into one array. NP, it's NumPy. We need to import NumPy. Import NumPy as NP. Feature map. There is only one last thing before. We need to shrink the image to a size of 2024 by 2024 because that's what we are passing inside the model. So let's say EMG. So let's resize the image equals CV2 dot resize. What do we want to resize? We want to resize EMG. What is the size? We give size of 224 by 224. And let's now show. So the feature map is giving us 64 images. I explained this in the previous lesson, so I will not go into that. Feature map, let's just display one image. We, we display the first image. So feature EMG, so let's see this. Then we are going to take from feature map zero, because we have only one image, of course. Zero, uh, sorry, everything, everything and zero. So zero because it's a batch size where we pass only the one image, the dog. We take all the height, all the width of the image, and then we have 64 features, 64 images so we take the first one feature emg let's now display feature emg i'm going to use matplotlib to display feature emg because it will be better because it will increase the size later plt okay well, first we have to import matplotlib import uh, matplotlib.pyplot as plt if you don't have any of these libraries and you're getting an error, go back to the previous videos. PLT.im show, and we're going to display feature image PLT.show. Let's now run this one. Oh, everything is working correctly because we have the features of one of the 64 features from, uh, from this code. Let's get now into the max pooling. To understand the max pooling, we're going to print the image values so we will print the image pixel by pixel uh, and so we will see what is the original image that, that we get in the feature map and how this image is converted after the max pooling operation also for doing this i'm going to shrink the image quite a lot because now the, the less information we have the better to understand so we don't want to go through all the 2024 pixels let's now just say 10 Let's make the image very small. So we, we, we will not even see the dog. It's going so small that it will be even impossible to understand that it's a dog, but it doesn't matter. 10, 10. So I'm, I sh I'm shrinking the image so much. And now let's print image pixels. Let's print feature EMG. And I'm going now to run this one. Uh, as I told you, like it, it's we lose so many pixels that this image will doesn't even look like a dog, but it doesn't matter right now. This is an image of 10 by 10 pixels. One, two, three, so 10 on the width, 10 on the height, and we are displaying the value of each single pixel. So let's start from the first uh, from the first row. So we have 10 rows, the row starts from the bracket right here and it ends on this bracket. So first row, second, second row, third row, and so on. And then we have the columns, first column, second column, third, first, second, third, and so on. This is what we get as a feature map. So the, the image that is displaying a, uh, a single feature. Let's now see the same image after the pooling operation. So what I'm going, going to do right now, I'm going to replicate the same code on a new window 
and I'm going to add the max pooling layer and we're going to make a comparison visually and also like in the text so at a pixel level. So uh, I have a new window. So what I'm going to do right now, you don't have to do this, just watch, just to understand the difference. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to copy this code into a new one. Now I'm going to add the pooling layer. So after model, model.add, we have the convolutional layer, which is giving us the 64 images. We displayed one of them. Let's add the max pooling. Model.add layers dot max pooling 2D. Now let's put two parameters at the moment. Pool size two by two and then strides one by one and we will see them while we are checking the difference from the pixels so we have this uh, what i want to make is also one other thing okay i want to display the the map the feature map in grayscale format i mean it doesn't change much but it's better to like this, the features like this color don't make any sense here, don't exist. So this is for the features, let's display them just in grayscale format. So see map gray right here, and I will display also the previous one into gray format. So I'm going to restart everything. So I'm going to start the feature map only with the convolutional layer and also the one with the max pooling and we will compare them now. Uh, we see already visually some difference. This is the same image, one direct from the convolutional layer, this one on the left, and this one where we applied the max pooling. So there is already some difference. Now let's check the pixels one by one. We start from the convolutional layer only let's check now the first row we had the value 24 17 L let me shrink the image even more than let's make eight pixels so i decided to use an image size of seven by seven because it's the one that it can fit in a full row like the pixel so it's easier just to understand visually i was forgetting one thing when we run keras each time we have weights values, which are the weights of the convolutional layer, which are numbers that are randomly generated automatically. And this is not good right now to make an example. But if I run and compare two different models at the same time, they will have also different uh, numbers generated. So each time we run the model, we have some different result at the beginning. To avoid this right now, we're going to put what it's called a seed so that it will keep the random generation always the same. And we can do this with TensorFlow. So Keras is built on top of TensorFlow. So if we import TensorFlow as TF, we can use a seed, random seed, tf.random.getSeed which probably uh, which is probably not correct because it's showing me an error it's set seed not get seed set seed and let's say number zero so so that i have the same number generated and, and if you are trying this you will have the exact same values that i have so i will use this on both like this so import tensorflow as import tensorflow stf and now let's run and let's compare everything. So as now we set the random seeds, if you are using the same image and you have the same code, you are going to get exactly the same result that I have, like completely the same. Let's now check finally the max pooling operation. Not that it took me a while to get to this point, but it was necessary to see everything because now everything will make sense. The max pooling operation is a very simple operation that we apply on the image this is the image so the image that we get from the convolutional layer right away this without the max in, max pulling yet so i have two images this is image one 
which is this directly from the convolutional layer and then the second image this one after we apply the maximum layer which is this one if we check the pixels we see on the first image it starts first pixel is 12.15 the second is 11.80 minus 27 and so on right here on the max pooling operation you can see that we set pool size 2 by 2 what is this pool size 2 by 2 is the pool size of the dimension that we are taking which is 2 on the width and 2 on the height so we are taking on the image these two pixels two by two so we are taking a square of four pixels two by two what about these pixels 12.15 11.80 minus 4.21 20.37 it's max pooling it means that we're going to take the maximum value and we create a new pixel with that specific value very simple what is the maximum among these values 12 11 minus 4 and 20 is of course 20.37 if we check the max pooling on the other image so after the pooling layer we see that the first pixel is 20.37 so exactly this one then there there is another value that we use strides 1 1 this means that the pooling the pool of Two by two is moving of one by one so now the next pull will be right here so these four values 11 80 uh, minus 27.58 20.37 27.84 which is the biggest among this one it's of course 27.84 so we have the second is 27.84 and again we go we move off one and we have this what is the biggest again is 27.84 we move right here and the biggest is 5.64 we have 5.64 then we go down to the next so we have two by two what is the biggest again 20.37 20.37 and so on this is the max pooling operation and you can see that the value you can play around with the pool size so let's let's try different values of pool size but also i will increase a bit the image because 7 by 7 is very small so let's try with an image of 32 by 32 oh let's run now the image with 32 by 32 but also let's use the pooling layer let's use pool size of 3 by 3 right now 3 by 3 instead of 2 by 2 and let's run also the pooling layer uh, i now added a new uh, I, I changed like the the size of the image from 10 pixels no from 7 pixels to 32 pixels so this is what we get from the convolutional layer and now i also changed some parameters in the max pooling layer and this is what we get right there so i i use pool size 3 by 3 so instead of having just a square of 2 by 2 we're using three by three strides will mean that we were moving the the square just before we were moving that one by one now we're moving in bigger blocks so we're skipping two at once instead of one and so the more we increase the stride number the the less pixels we are going to have as an output so you can see now that there is a huge difference in pixels this image is now from 0 to around 30 pixels because you need to consider that image is 32 pixels when we go the image goes through a convolutional layer it comes out should be around 30 pixels so we have this image 30 pixels when we pass this image to the max pooling layer we have with these settings at least we have 0 to should be like around 14 by 14 so this is one of the goals also of the max pooling highlight the features but also have less uh, less parameters so like simplify everything 
This is all for today. If you want to see the next video, I recommend to subscribe to the channel to be updated. See you in the next one.